So proudly, silent as the breeze. Thara, they named him Thara. He's the son of the wind, strong and free. Thara, they named him Thara. And the king, <laughs> yes, the king, he will be. After getting lost and wandering in circles in the snow-covered high country, our friend Arrow redeemed himself with his accidental rescue of the two foals trapped in a frozen canyon. But now his spirits have taken a tumble, as food worth eating is difficult to find. trying to eat a tree. No, horses aren't supposed to eat trees, Arrow. No, horses are supposed to eat grass and stuff like that. Ah, uh, oats and barley, uh, if you can get it. Grass? Oats and barley? Are you two dreaming? Just take a look around. Do you see any grass or oats or barley? Hmm, you do have a point, Arrow. I can't see any. How about you, Mew? Do you see any grass or oats or barley? Uh, not a scary Nothing like that at all. This is all Farah's fault. It's his big idea to stay above the snow line this winter because he reckons it's safer. But what good's that if you starve to death anyhow? Good question, Mew, don't you think? What good can that be if you starve to death? Oh, there's only one creature that can answer that question, eh? Farah! Yeah, that's right. And I'm going to go and ask him. See ya. Uh-oh. Looks like we're in for it, Mew. Oh, we'd best head for shelter. He'd be here. No sense of time, these young brumbies. We'll give him a few more minutes, Silky, and then we'll head down while we still can. Huh. What? What? Thara! Hi, Benny. Hi, Silky. Thanks for waiting to say goodbye. We couldn't have waited much longer, Thara. Our friends are well and truly below the snow line by now. I'm sorry, Benny. Silky, I, I lost track of time. You'd best be going. If the snow gets heavier, you'll be stuck here for the whole of winter. Bye, Thara. Enjoy your winter safety. Thanks, Benny. It's a long time since it's been this cold in early winter. Mm, just as well I got in an extra load of firewood. Uh, uh, oh, 
this weather's cold enough to turn an ice cube blue. What I wouldn't do to be back in a nice, warm, feathery nest. <sighs> Better find some shelter down below till this blizzard blows over. night to remember, or a night to forget more like it. Now, what am I supposed to have for breakfast? The snow's deeper than ever. Oh. Ah, ah, is that a flea I spot on that rock down there? Was you? What do you think you're doing? What do I think I'm doing? What do you think I think I'm doing? Getting some breakfast, you blithering numbskull. Now, what do you think you're doing? Breakfast? Since when did birds eat brumbies for breakfast? As a matter of fact, I am hungry enough to eat a horse, no matter how mediocre the quality of the meat. Yeah? Well, this horse isn't available, Carawong. <laughs> yep. I suggest you go and take a bite out of your boss, the Brolga. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> I wonder what the Brolga would taste like. Yeah. Time for one more cuppa, I reckon. Then I'll call it a night. Cold, anybody think I was living inside a fridge? And it's stuffy. What? Oh, crows. Mobble, mobble. What's this? A pile of stones that yells and groans? Oh, what a blow! The prospector's hut buried by the snow. Stone, crows, a mopoke. I only wish you were a homing pigeon. I could send a message for help. down south gorging ourselves on sweet succulent grass but here we are with nothing to eat but icicles well, that's the good thing about the secret valley arrow it's sheltered and we can still get at the grass the snow's not too thick <laughs> yeah here you are with nothing but endless chatter clear off and leave me in peace Mopok, good to see you how's the winter treating you the winter's treating me all right, but it's given the old prospector quite a fright. Why? What's happened? That blizzard put on quite a show. It's buried his hut under a huge pile of snow. Buried it? Along with the prospector? That's right. He's trapped inside. Follow me. I'll be your guide. Hey! Wait for me! And God riddance! 
It's a good idea for Thara to stay above the snow line to avoid capture, but we don't have that problem. I'm looking forward to getting down south where it's a bit warmer. Me too! <laughs> okay, I can take a hint. Let's go. Silver Bramby. I need help. Do you understand? <laughs> you two stay and keep watch here. Should any humans venture this way, most unlikely. Should any humans venture this way, try and attract their attention. I'm going to head down south and see if I can get help. Don't get lost. Hello, hello, hello. What's this? Mm, smarty Pants Thaura heading straight towards the mighty Brolga's winter pasture. The boss will want to know about this. <laughs> Master! Huh? Karawong! I thought I told you to stay in the high country this winter. I'm tired of your warbling waffle. My ears need a rest. But you know I catch chills easily, mighty master of the Mystic Mountains. I knew you didn't really mean it. Oh, yes, I did really mean it, you useless layabout. Why have you disobeyed my instructions? Thaura, sire! Heading this way, fast. Thaura? What? Can I ever be free of that pest? He must be searching out a winter pasture for his herd, and he'll want mine. If you move quickly, El Superbo, you can cut him off at the pass. The pass, yes, that's it. Good thinking, Karawong. For once, I'll spring a trap at the pass. Follow me! <laughs> aye, aye. With pleasure. So, Thara, we meet again. You do have a talent for showing up where you're least expected, Brolga. And least wanted, too, no doubt. I don't want trouble. I'm on an errand of mercy. Ha! <laughs> mercy for who, Thara? Just thought you'd move in on my winter pasture, did you? Well, you'd better think again. I'm not after any winter pasture. The old prospector's hut is buried in snow, and I'm trying to get help. Ha! 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 That's a new one, Thara. Your imagination never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> this is not imaginary, Broga. The old prospect of his... <laughs> <laughs> it 
it's all very well for Thara to say, stay here, while he goes for a run to warm up. We stand here and freeze. Typical. Hey, look at that arrow. Ah, that's better. At least I won't freeze to death if the wood holds out. <laughs> then I can burn the furniture. Hmm, plenty of tin food, won't starve. And a bit of snow and a belly alongside the fire, won't die of thirst. Reckon I could hold out here for some time, providing the roof doesn't cave in, that is. Oh, no! There's no doubt about it. This is the way to keep warm. You should try it, Boom Boom. <laughs> He's thawing out. About time. What in jumping jackrabbits is going on? We just saved you from freezing to death, Karawong. Feeling better? Ah! Hmm, I reckon the ski lodge is over there, Anne, to our right. No wonder people get lost in the snow. Look, Tom, the trail marker is on that tree over there. The ski lodge is on our left. You're right again, Anne. Where would I be without you? <laughs> Lost, I dare say. Anne, it's a Brumby. That's not just any old Brumby, Tom. You're right, it's the Silver Brumby, the one that saved us last year. It looks as though he wants us to follow him. Do you think we should? What are we waiting for? Let's go. Master, an invader heading into your territory. Yes, yes, Karawong, you told me, remember? I just gave Thaura the severe thrashing he's had coming for some time. Not Thaura, El Magnifico, but a rattling, snow-eating beast spouting heat and smoke. And it also likes to eat Karawongs. What? Not another beast. Why don't they all stay at home? Because they don't realize they'll incur the wrath of the mighty Brolga, who'll shatter and splatter them all over the landscape. Uh, very well, Karavong. Show me where this thing is. Lead the way. <laughs> Thumping or the whole roof will cave in. I think the old prospect is yelling about something. <laughs> Pleased to know that helps at hand, no doubt. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, Arrow. He didn't sound too happy. <laughs> uh oh. Now it was right round here somewhere, sire. Silver Brambi bringing help. I should have known. Hi, what's 
What's going on? Can we be of any help? Thanks for coming, but you're a bit late to help me, but you may be able to help him. <laughs> he landed right in my living room along with a pile of snow. I was able to climb out, but he's kind of stuck. <laughs> I think I know what to do. And you stay here while I go and get help. My son, what's the problem? There's a Brumby stuck in a hole not far from here. We need your help. Another one? <laughs> Seems to be quite a day for Brumbies with problems. Oh, my head. Carawan. Oh, Carawan. In time. Come on, everybody. All aboard. We've got to get back before this weather gets worse. Oh, <laughs> what a relief to see you guys. <laughs> Bye, Silver Brumby. Bye. And thanks for the rescue. Without those Brumbies, I'd have been buried here till next spring. Once again, winter had proven its volatility and danger. And once again on his journey to becoming king of the Cascade Brumbies, Thaura had risen to the challenge. It was not the elements, however, that would pose the next threat, but the very earth itself.